Hi, my name is Eric Ingemels, and I'm sitting here with my assistant, Annie the Android, and we represent the company Eric's Gear. Uh, it's a company that I started uh, so that I could sell the items that I normally make for myself. I started out with making Christmas and birthday gifts for my family and decided that all the work that I was going to to create files for the laser cutter, the CNC, the 3D printer that I was using, and my local makerspace, I could go ahead and reuse those designs as a business. And that's what I've been doing on my own, well, with a little bit of help here, um, on Etsy.com. And I've been doing some uh, in-person sales through the local uh, makerspace has a make fest it's a small maker fair that uh, I, I and other makers sell items at and so since I've been doing this as a personal business on my own time after my day job um, I would like to take this to a more full-time gig and I mean that by buying a slightly larger manufacturing company. The one that I have in mind is uh, a custom furniture company, so it merges pretty easily with my already uh, existing company. Uh, they do a lot of the same things that I do as far as woodworking, they do some metalworking. Uh, I would like to add to the, their current product line what I have available including all the different items that I do on the laser cutter adding my big CNC machine that I built myself add some 3D printers and I think my experience and their uh, customer base their three employees would be a great match now, I mentioned just a minute ago that I have a very large CNC. Uh, I'll show you some video of that in just a little bit, but I'll tell you it's pretty big. So the CNC that I built originally was going to be a laser cutter, uh, ended up having some problems at work, basically. The job disappeared out from underneath me, and so I had to downsize just a little bit. I couldn't buy the 1600 well, the thousand dollar laser tube that I could find on China um, uh, that was no longer feasible for me to purchase so I went with a CNC milling uh, head instead um, and so that's what I've been using so far it's worked pretty good and uh, I'd like to upgrade it from a 480 watt milling head to a 1500 watt milling head as well as put the 180 watt laser on it that I originally intended, as well as adding, oh, a plasma cutter or water jet or 3D printer, uh, whatever I want to on this, because it was originally intended to be modular, and I still want it to be that way. Now, you think the modular CNC is pretty cool. Well, it is. Uh, and then I haven't told you how big this thing is because it is a 4 by 8 capacity. And I mean 4 foot by 8 foot capacity. Uh, it, it's nothing like this small or anything uh, or even like foot by 2 foot. No, uh, mine blows them away at being able to fit a full sized 4 by 8 sheet of plywood in there. Now the machine itself is considerably larger than that. <clears throat> But uh, this is what I have so far.
So my CNC machine is only partially built. It is um, just the gantry right now. So forward and backward, side to side, up and down. Uh, and the milling head right now goes up and down about six and a half, seven inches. Uh, the next module that I would like to work on is the bed. This bed is currently completely free from the machine. I have it just propped up on some tables so that it's level with the rest of the machine. Uh, but I have some legs. The legs are made out of Acme thread and will give me a travel distance of about two and a half feet. Since it's so large, I am putting individual stepper motors on each of these legs and it should give me a maximum weight capacity of about one and a half tons. Yes, I am making this seriously industrial sized. So, the problem I'm having with this, and it is a problem, is it took me about eight to nine months to build the original one uh, with designing on the fly as well as waiting for parts. And so just doing it on my own, I don't have enough time with my day job and I don't have enough space with the maker space that I work at to be able to manufacture more of these. So that's part of the reason why I would like to merge the, these two businesses, the one I'm building and my current one. Uh, so I also have other designs. I have an idea for a uh, much smaller CNC as well as a portable CNC machine that you can again both of these would be modular so you could put laser cutters or milling heads or 3D printers or whatever you want to on uh, these things and like the portable one it would be something that you could throw in the back of your truck or the back of your van and be able to set it up relatively quickly on the job site and laser etch whatever you want to on the side of it an existing barn or uh, if somebody is really crazy etch something into the hood of their car um, or if they've got a building you can instead of painting their name on there you can laser etch their name on there uh, of course that means that they have to remove the window when they're done with it uh, or uh, when they sell it but that's their problem at that point, um, not yours and mine. So I have hundreds and hundreds of different products that people have suggested to me to make. Uh, I already have about 70 of these designs on my Etsy store and I keep getting more people asking me for more stuff. So I still need more time as well. So the four, three to four hours that I get after work uh, and the sometimes 10 to 14 hours that I uh, work on Saturday, uh, even within a, a full 30 to 40 hours working on this a week, I don't get enough done. So uh, I would like to ditch the day job and do this full time and I think that would get me a long ways. Uh, also this uh, new business would allow me to afford uh, some employees not only the ones that are currently there but potentially uh, somebody who can help me specifically work through some of the projects that I have already for my own business and then have the three people who are currently working at this other business continue to do what they do as well as add in some of the extra embellishments the accessories and different things that I can make for them uh, and eventually both sides of the business merge into one so that anybody who is uh, current a current employee of the other business will be able to do all the things that my business currently does. So I'm intending a full eventual merge of the two companies. So 
in order to buy this company, I need to raise some funds. Right now, I have a couple of thousand dollars saved up on my own, but the business is asking $139,000. I don't have that, and I just barely don't have the credit uh, rating in order to get a full uh, loan for $140,000. I would also like to have some uh, investment capital after all the sale goes through so that if the current owners uh, drain the bank account, I will still have some working capital to be able to run the business for two, three, maybe four months while I'm waiting for accounts receivables to come in. So if they take all of the money, I'm not left high and dry, and then have to shut the business down two months later. Uh, I want to be able to pay for all of the standard office equipment, all of the um, uh, utilities, the rent, uh, the paychecks, because that's extremely important. You don't have people working, you don't have anything going on in the shop. Uh, so, yeah, all of the materials, I want to be able to make sure that I have that available to me even before I start there. Um, as a side item, I would also like to purchase at least one or two uh, inexpensive laser cutters to be able to do what I do uh, at my makerspace, but do it at the business. I would also like to build, buy a couple of 3D printers. So I can add that uh, to what I already do as well. I don't do a lot of that with my own business, uh, but I do do some. And I'd like to make sure that all the capacity that I have at my current makerspace, I have at the new business. Part of the reason why I want to have all of the cap capabilities outside of the makerspace is because I'm going to be moving a significant distance. I am currently located in Davenport, Iowa. The business that I'm looking at is in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, I already have the moving expenses uh, covered out of my own pocket, so that is not a concern. Uh, I will not be dipping any into any of the um, loan or the campaign funding to move myself and my business that is all going to be done with cash I already have. So again, my name is Eric Ingemals, and this is Annie the Android, and we're with Eric's Gear, looking for funding for buying a business and merging with it. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing what this campaign brings in. Thank you for any of your support. I really appreciate it. Bye.